Hey everybody. Okay, let's try the node voltage method, but this time, what if you have dependent sources? So for example, this is an independent voltage source, but this is a dependent voltage source, right? The voltage here is this, but note that it depends on the current here. So let's give this a try. So where are the essential nodes? Not here. Here, I'll call that node A. Here, I'll call it node B. And over here, I'll call that node C. Now, where do you want to pick your reference? So node A has three elements connected to it. Node B has three, node C has four. So why don't I pick node C as my reference? Okay, so now let's write KCL for node A. And I'll write with positive going out. So I'll call this I1, I2, I3 for when I write it. So KCL at node A, I1 plus I2 plus I3 equals zero. Okay, now let's mix in Ohm's law. So what is I1? This voltage minus this voltage over two. What's this voltage? It's, see the plus sign right here? It's 20 volts more than it is here. And the voltage here is my reference. So it's zero here, and over here it's 20 more than it is at the reference. So the voltage here is 20. So it's VA minus 20 over two. That's I1. Okay, now let's focus our attention on I2 here. So it is this voltage minus this voltage over five. So VA minus VB over Okay, now for I3 here, VA minus VC over 20. And note that the voltage at C is my, that's my reference, so that's zero. Okay, so that's KCL at node A. Now let's switch over to node B. So for node B, I will also write current going positive out. So going out this way, this way, this way. I'll just label these. Okay, so KCL at node B would be I4 plus I5 plus I6 equals zero. What is I4? VB minus VA over five. Okay, what is I5? It's the voltage here minus the voltage here over two. What's the voltage here? It is this much more than it is here. Right, and over here it's zero. So the voltage here is eight I phi. So VB minus this over two. And now I six VB minus VC over 10. And again, VC is zero. Okay, so if you look at it, we have two equations, but three unknowns. Our unknowns are VA, VB. These are my unknowns. So two voltages and a current. Three unknowns, only two equations. I need one, one more equation. 
So I need an expression for that current. This one. And I can just use Ohm's law here. Oh, I erased too much. This was at A and this was B. So right here, Ohm's law. For that 5 ohm resistor. So I would be VA minus VB over 5. So now I have three equations, three unknowns. Right? And then to solve, I would take this and substitute it right there. And then, then you would have two equations, two unknowns, and then you can solve. Okay, let's try one more example. Okay, so for this one, where are the essential nodes? Mm, here, here here. This is not, so I'll just call this A and B and C. Let's pick a reference. A has four elements connected, B has four, C has four. So any of the three would be a good choice. I'll just pick this one. Okay, so let's write KCL for node A. So I'll go out. So for this one, VA minus whatever the voltage is here, which is 50 more than it is here. And right here is my reference, so that's zero. So the voltage here is 50. So VA minus 50 over six. Now let's go this way, VA minus VB over two. Let's go this way, going down. VA minus VC over eight. VC is zero. Now let's go this way. So if going out is positive, this is going in the node, so that's negative. What is this current? This. Okay, so that's KCL for node A. KCL for node B. So I'm going positive out like this. So let's start with going toward the left here. So going out would mean VB minus VA over 2. Now let's go going downwards. So that's VB minus VC over 4. Now let's go this way. And this current is leaving the node, so I'll call that plot positive. This current is going into the node, so I'll call that negative. Okay, so we did KCL for nodes A and B. We have two equations, three unknowns. We need one more equation. So let's write an expression for this current using Ohm's law right here. I1 is 50 minus VA over 6. And here we go. Three equations, three unknowns you can solve, right? I would take this and substitute it right here and right there, and then you have two equations in VA and VB, solve just through substitution, and then you got both node voltages. Okay, so hope that was helpful. Keep on studying and I'll see you on the next video.